Welcome back to Devon Tries to Budget. In this video, I'm going to do some seed starting. I've already moistened my dirt and everything, so... see that. I do have a little diagram that I made that pop up on the screen. So today I'm going to be starting my tomatoes. So I'm going to be doing the Chef Jeff's tomato sugar rush. I'm going to be doing three planting of these. If I have three planting, that is. These spilled out somewhere, so I don't have that many left. But we're going to try it. These are seeds that I saved from a start. Alright. Planting instructions. Okay, that doesn't really say. Alright, I used all those seeds that were left, which is fine by me. these are and if they germinate and grow I'll save some even more seeds next year. Oh, come on, I should have put these out better. I know there's one more. There we go. Some red tomatoes. Should have rushed away as I mean. Actually I think I'm gonna keep that in my seed bag over here. Alright. And then we're going to do the Chef Jeff's Tomato Red Cherry. I'm going to do three of those as well. That way if I have to up pot them, I know which ones they are. It's my first time saving seeds. I saved these last summer, so they're relatively new. I don't think way too many, but you know, worst kinds of worse, I have more tomato plants. Alright. Since I still have more of these, I'm going to put this back in here. No, go get Haley. Get Haley. Come here. No. No, 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 no. Go. Sit. No. Sit. 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 She thinks she owns the place. <laughs> you can't get away. You can't come out here right now. I took over my desk again. Oh my god, you fucking wet it. <laughs> she just got back from the walk, so of course she's wet. It's wet outside. Alright, and then my broccoli instructions. Four to six weeks before last frost. So today is six weeks from April 30th. Alright, it says blah blah blah. Okay, it doesn't really say. No, oh, quarter of an inch planting depth. I should really get some, like, a little thing to accurately measure this out. But, I mean, I didn't really measure them last year, and I was totally fine. Oh, seed starting and garden is pretty forgiving, which is great for a newbie like me. 
three or four in there. Got plenty of space outside on the table. I probably have way too many seeds in there, but that's fine. Okay, let me get a baggie for that. So, I think what I'm going to do is just dump all this back in here and put these away. And they got carried away. This cool watering pot from Amazon. This is removable, so you can have one of those. It'll make it easier for bottom watering, but since I just planted seeds, I'm going to water these like this. Get it nice and saturated so that they're, they can germinate well. This is so much easier than the one I had last year. The one I had last year was horrible. Nice water. Alright, I also had a lot of mold issues from overwatering, so I got some vermiculite. Improves moisture and nutrient retention. Alright. Basically, I just have to put this on top. So, this is very, very fine vermiculite. Hopefully, that's focusing. But I'm going to sprinkle this on top. I'm going to have to mess to clean up when I'm done. This fails to work. I also have some diatomaceous earth downstairs. From when I tried to grow some rutabaga last year, I had a bunch of pests that I needed to get rid of. So, could also use that. I'll put all of my gardening YouTubers I watch in the description below so you guys can learn from them like I do. I got a lot of tips. So you've been doing this for a lot longer than I have. Alright. Let's seal this back up. Nice to turn. Alright. I'm going to move this off to the side. Actually, I'm going to show you guys where I put this when I move it. So this is my setup. I do this on my desk. I did this last year as well. So I've got a Fairy Morse heating mat underneath. So heat helps with germination. This is something I didn't know last year. I just had a heating mat on them. But once they sprout, you can take them off the heating mat because they just need really warm soil to germinate. And then I have these, these Bright Labs grow lights. And they're a prong of three. And they just clip onto your desk. Bright Labs Grow Light. So the power button, you can change it between having all three lights on or just having one light on. The one above it, the clock or the timer button, you can switch between three, six, or 12 hours of light by pressing the button three times. It's ideal to have 14 hours for healthy growth, but 12 is the limit on this one. 
And then the plus and minus button, button at the top is to adjust the dimness of all three lights. And then the circle, or like the change button, second from the top, is to change the from the blue and red lights right here to the red lights or to all blue lights. And I'm not really sure the point of this, but I know it's important if somehow, I just need to do a little bit more research. So I decided for my lettuce and my kale, I'm gonna do half a tray for romaine lettuce and half a tray for kale. And then once they are big enough, I'll transplant them outside since they're cool crops. And I think that's going to be much easier. Oh shoot, I'm going to need to do peppers as well. So I'll do those up separately and then bring them over to the heat mat. Alright, I got lettuce, I'm going to get kale. So I'm going to make a line with my finger and just kind of divide these the best that I can. I'll do kale on this side. And remain lettuce on this side. With the remain lettuce. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to sprinkle them all over the place and I'll thin them out when they sprout and we'll go from there. seeds in. I'm just going to sprinkle a bunch and deep draw. I'm going to lightly spread dirt on top of them, cover all the leaves, or the seeds I should say. Leaves. There's no leaves yet. <laughs> Everything is covered. I'll throw these back into the bag. I need to get better seed organization to better protect these seeds because once they get wet, they're, they're done for. I just hit the kale. That's right here. I do that. Some of these haven't been opened yet, but they have little holes in them, so. Do the same thing over here. Pretty sure I made my kale smaller than my other one, but that's fine. Kind of want more lettuce than a bunch of kale anyway, but that's me. This is me just trying the kale. time I'm gonna put the vernacular on top before I water. Again, this is just help with fungus and mold. Because if you overwater or this top stays moist, that you know, that's a breeding ground for mold and stuff. So I guess the key, so that's something I learned is to water them when the inside is dry and not necessarily because the top is dry. And it's best to bottom water for that very purpose. 
Obviously with this one I can't really do that because I filled the entire tub with dirt. And I did not poke any drain holes in this one. So this is that this is gonna be temporary, but that is I'll just make sure I don't water it as much. I had two heating mats, I put this on my heating mat just to germinate it, but I do not. So I think I'm just going to keep this one on this desk, on the table over here, next to Gidget. I don't think she'll do anything too bad. At least I hope not. We find out. This one in. Nice, good water. I'm gonna make sure it's all nice and moist. Great germination. And it's good to use a water head just so you don't wash the seeds away. Alright. Alright. So I'm going to put this one off to the side while I do my peppers next. I was actually going to put this outside. But I'm going to have to wait. So I'm going to put this on the ground next to me so that I don't forget. There. And then I'm going to fill a couple pots with peppers. I decided to do some peppers this year as well. I'll have to find room. I might have to get a few more containers. I'm only going to make two of these, but that's fine. Put a few in there. Put two in each. A couple are good. And then I might start more plants later on so I get all year. Harvest. Because I don't know how many of them I produce because they're undetermined whether they could produce a ton or they could produce none at all. I'm going to put the pepper markers in here. Need more water. All right, so from now on. I will be bottom watering these and then it's important I didn't know this last year either but let them soak up for 15-30 minutes and then pour out the excess water in the tray I did not know to do that so that's part of my issue that and you want to keep your lights as close to the plant as possible and slowly move it up so you don't get leggy plants and I'll also be once they start to grow I'll be putting a fan on them so that they get used to the outside changes the outside weather. Otherwise, as soon as you put your plants on, if you don't adjust them for a week, they will burn up in the sun and die. Yeah, that was fun. All right. So here is lettuce and kale. And this is the dirt I have left with my gloves in there. 
I have a love-hate relationship with wearing gloves, but I thought I'd wear those since my sister got me those for Christmas. And then this is my wonderful mess that I'm going to have to clean up. And then I'll make sure I write down the sew date for the stuff that I sewed today. And now I have a mess to clean up.